This is Balto. Yeah, that Balto. After he died, he was taxidermied, and in 2023, scientists were able to sequence his genome and learn quite a bit about him. Here's the paper, and if we look at this figure, the DNA analysis revealed that Balto and his group were actually what we would consider a mutt. He wasn't a purebred Siberian husky, despite the fact that that's what they were known as at the time. Balto's actually up here on this phylogenetic tree, and you can see that he is actually more closely related to the Alaskan sled dogs, but again, there's a lot of admixture in there. This study revealed something somewhat interesting about dogs, at least interesting if you're interested in evolution, Something a lot of people don't consider is that you know, we think of all the things like the physical changes that have happened as domestic dogs have evolved from their wolf ancestors. But what we don't necessarily think about is the fact that like them being around us has changed like their internal abilities as well, specifically their ability to digest certain foods, digest foods that they are around when they're around people that they aren't necessarily around in the wild, starches. Balto actually carried the dog version of the MGAM gene variant, which suggests he was somewhat adapted to consuming starches. However, he doesn't seem to be as adapted as modern dogs, but more adapted than wolves and Greenland dogs. This study means the Greenland sled dogs may actually be the outlier among sled dogs we've previously seen in studies, that their gene variant seemed more like the wolf in the sense that they weren't really adapted to a starchy diet, and it was thought that that may have just been something conserved in these sled dog populations, but because of this evidence, it may actually just be the Greenland sled dogs are an outlier and something unique and worth looking more into. But also, like, it's evolution. It isn't necessarily done with purpose. It isn't done for ultimate efficiency. It's just based on what happens. You know, if certain mutations happen, then they can be more likely to be selected for. In some populations, they may just not happen though, so that trait doesn't evolve over time in the same way. Evolution is pretty random in some senses. I could go on and on about this though. Science is nuanced, and I need to go deliver amoxicillin to my daughter, which is what made me think about Balto this morning,